So we'll start it back up. We'll play some, play some more four color. Grimfire might be good. Like I said, I really haven't gotten around to too much. Like this is probably. Those were like I think like my the start of my sixth league with the deck. I was never that happy with Grimfire. When I used to play it, I was never super excited. I think the Rampager is no bueno, sir. I'm not a Rampager fan. I really like my main deck. The only thing that I'm worried about is like you've obviously like the hardest part of this deck is dealing with the lands. Like the lands is the most difficult part. The sideboard is also kind of hard. Oh, you get the glyphs and everything. I actually don't have Tarmogoyce anymore. I could get Tarmogoyce, but I would like my own Tarmogoyce. 2019 goals. But then I'm not sure if I'm actually going to play this deck. But I do think this card is very good right now. Like, I think this card's very good. Um, and I actually think Tarfire is actually decent right now. There's a lot of no water. Especially with like them slowing down, like you're better against the banned spirits. But then, like the problem is free that I want, I want twelve, I want the fetch lands, I want the, it's like the delirium density, you know. Like I really dislike it when people, because if you open up a hand with like, you know, whatever two shock lands but no fetch lands, and it's like, what are you doing? Play two blood crypts on that isn't too bad for the red. Yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, but it's better than nothing. At least you get to play the deck. Uh, yep, yeah, we will keep this hand. It is good, not great, though. Like, the biggest thing, like, the reason to play this deck is because it is more threat dense than the Grixis one is. And in order to make it more threat dense, you have to make sure that Traverse is good. So it doesn't matter here. What we're going to do, we're going to fetch anyways because we want to play our Shadow on too. And I think you have to like not mess around here. The fetches are normal. Right, let's get Overgrown Tomb. Overgrown Tomb is the is the best land in the deck. I would play two if I didn't have to play the another off land. All right, so we're playing against Phoenix. So, oh no, we're playing against control. Oh, we're playing against like a blue red control deck. So we don't have an answer to thing in the ice. So I'm gonna take thing in the ice. Phil, what? Are, why are you so wedged up in here? Phil, like, back up. Get out of here. Come on. Phil, get get back from from under here. All right, we hit another traverse, which is no boy now. All right, so there's Flooded Strand. Have to waste here visions. All right, so we can at least clear out some of this removal. <coughs> I will likely... Oh, they hit a Jace. What they do? So they put one on bottom. So they're drawing a land next turn. I kind of want to take this Electrolyze so that they can't cycle into another land for their Jace. Because they definitely kept a land on top. I can play around this bolt. We have the basic in our hand, which is nice. Okay. Called it. Yield until next end step. Let's get a blue land. We would like a street wraith. A Tarma Wife would not be a good draw. A stubborn denial would be a good draw. All right, so that's actually kind of interesting because it turns on Delirium for us. So 
The snare does... Well, the problem is I don't want them to hit their land to be able to play Jace. Because if they can play Jace next turn, I'm probably going to lose. That was stupid. That should have been another green land. Yeah. Because beating Jace on this turn is going to be hard. On their turn four, I think. I think I'm probably going to dismember it. Yeah, now this is... So I'm just all over the place tonight. So if I dismember this, it gets bolted unless I pay four life. <coughs> but I need to have delirium on. If I go to five, I'm at a basic two. Alright. Oh, it still gets Gosh. It still gets lightning bolted. It's just so dumb. I don't know what is going on tonight, but I cannot. I cannot, like, functionally play Magic. Look at that. I kept thinking that, like, if I paid more than four life. God. Ugh. I, like, thought it out in my head and it still just didn't work. Which is just so awesome. Man. All right, at least we get to get it back. I mean, that was, a, that was a very fortunate draw that might get us out of an awful situation. But, like, I just pissed away a card. I can't even double traverse. Yeah, I'm all... I don't know what it is. I just... I played bad against humans. I played bad in my last round. I just punted there. I thought, like... Ugh. It's just bad all over. And now they can just slam this Jace. They're not going to. And now I didn't fetch the right land. God. Whew. All right. <coughs> so we still lose to just Snapcaster Mage here. Even if they cryptic this. But if they just flash in, if they just cryptic this. Whoa. Yeah. The Lily's already minus. It's at one. They're going to counter this. Okay. Check this up. So now if they play Jace... We actually just triple shadow them. If they jam the Jace here. Which they have to bounce this. Yeah. Ooh. Play two. Get in there, little tar fire. Yeah, and it's like if I would have fetched right here, I'd have been all set. Though, the, like if, if this would have been stomping ground, it probably could have been stomping ground at some point, and we would have been all set. Because I haven't gotten a polluted delta. That's how you know the deck is good. If you can just play like a complete jackass and still win. So they have a Snapcaster Mage. So they're going to Snap Bolt me. Yep. Mm, they have a UMA box top. They're nice. What did they, what'd they get this from? The treasure chest, probably? I hope they bolt my Liliana. It does help the blue moon sucks, yes. So now whatever, we're just going to go... Okay. 
guess I might as well keep this around. Play this. Because it doesn't matter. Like if, if they don't have like they have the spell snare so that we can make it so they don't bolt us. Yeah, so they're in the mail for boldness. I'm a big Tiago fan as well. You gonna bolt me? They have a million outs. Oh, they're digging. This is good news. Man, we just won a game. We had no business winning. All right. So we want this. These are maybe. This is a definitely. We probably don't need dismember. <clears throat> Other cards that are in the maybe and definitely category are these and these. It's kind of all about how much I want to take out. <clears throat> we don't need Battle Rage. Probably can cut like a Tar Fire. Maybe we can just cut like, we go like this and then bring these in. I really don't want to get punked by Thing in the Ice. So I kind of just want four pushes. Yeah. Trophy hits Jace, but if I think if I want to deal with Jace, I probably just want Disdainful Stroke because it hits Cryptic Command as well. Like I'd rather just deal with the Jace before it gets in play. I think I'm gonna cut one of these and I'm gonna keep a Tarfire in because like it can kill Snapcaster Mage, it can kill Vendillion Click, and I just want to make sure that my deck functions and the Tarfire, the one Tarfire could help out. No, I want I kinda of want the tar fire in there just to help me with delirium also. Two push two trophy. I don't really want to ramp them. Like if they had something that was actually scary, like Teferi or Tron Lands. We could get got by a blood moon, but I think we can I think we can fetch our way around that. Or not fetch our way, we can like discard spell plus stubborn denial our way around that. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Sand's really not that good. Um, we've got. I'm gonna mulligan. We've only got two thirds. We're only three quarters of the way to delirium. I get a redraw. I'm gonna scry. I do have a bunch of ways to not lose, but I don't have a ways to like win. I mean, maybe this is just fine. Well, they can ramp into like Snapcaster Mage plus more mana, right? Like, they can just do more things in a turn. I think interacting with Jason the stack is a better way to try to do that. But if your argument is like, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I should have, like, just only played two of these. I think I think I can do better on six. No, we didn't. Keep this from the bottom. <clears throat> All right, let's see what they got. Um, we might as well wait because we know what they're probably going to fetch. Now, at least if we hit a land here, we've got a Tarn Wave, which is like a plan. Okay, so they do have white cards in their deck. I just want to take timely reinforcements. Like, a card is so annoying. I'm going to be able to stub. This Crypt Command, then have something else. The Bolt's not going to matter. I'm just going to take this time with the reinforcements. We could win this game. Or man, we can't win. I just wait for time. Yeah. 
I think I'm just going to play into this remand. Like I've got to get it out of the way at some point, and it's going to make my Tarmogoyf large enough to have Stubborn Denial, because it's going to add an instant to the graveyard. Like it kind of sucks doing this, but I can't just sit here and not do anything. <clears throat> okay. It's pretty good for the home team. Unless they just go like land Jays, but they didn't even fetch white source there. Show moon me. Threads of disloyalty. No way. Jesus. So if I push this Tarmogoyf, traverse for a land, then I can push my Tarmogoyf through. Trophy is looking better. Yeah, Trophy will be after Cyborg if you're seeing this. I'm actually going to push this because it gives me Delirium. I'm going to traverse for a land and play it. So next turn I can play Tarmogoyf with Stub up. Though they might just play their encrypted command. If they do that. So is that even good? It might not even be good to do that. Because like they can just go land, hold this, and now we have to, then we have to wait because it's our only threat. Though if we hit a fourth land, we can so they still have the mountain. I'm just going to yield through this turn. Because, like, if we hit here, we can. That's how you draw it up. It's not a cryptic. I hear that's what the cool kids do. So there's only one unknown. So we have Watery Grave. Let's get Overgrown Tomb. Could get a basic, but it kind of messes our mana up a little bit. <coughs> Alright, at least we get the big boy on the battlefield. That was like an older card. Like I don't I don't really think this is I don't know. It's like the ghost of standards past or modern past to still see that card running around here. In comparison. I don't think it's as good as Grixis. I don't think it's as flushed out, though. I do think this card is awesome right now, though. What are you going to do? Are you going to snap bolt me? Alright. Well, I'm going to stop that. Your last card's a mountain. I'm not sure, I don't know, Freed, like I'm not sure if it's the worst version of the deck or not, because I think that this card is very good right now, and I think that Tarfire is actually pretty good at the moment, and the problem, the difference between these two decks, what well, they do, they put a card on top, they put a card on top, they're really super dead, they did put a card on top, so we're probably dead, the problem, the difference between the two decks is the Grixis deck is much more flushed out. All right, so we are going to <coughs> bobble ourselves. Death Shadow. Okay. Don't want to attack. They kept the card on top, so it's probably another Snapcast Mage. So why don't I just not attack? There's not a stream that's been coming yet. Yeah, so there's a very good Grixis Death Shadow list going on. You can't do that. Uh, the last card's Mountain, still. Oh. 
I must have messed up their hand. No, they just hit the Snapcaster Mage. All right, you got it. Yeah, the Grixis deck is much more flushed out. Like, the Grixis deck is better. Like, for sure. It's just, it's had more time worked into it. Like, but I, I do, I do want, I do wonder if we're just missing the mark. Um, let's get... We actually got Delirium decently on a mold of five. We had to push our own thing, but. <clears throat> Shipping it. So what do we got? We have 17, 17. 20, 28, 32. We have 30, we have 28 hits or redraws, four of which are a little slow because they're bobbles. One draw step, 24 hits, 53 cards, and we can interact on turn one. I actually think this hand is closer. Then, yeah, that's that's sure. Yeah, I mean, it's my favorite right now, too. I think this hand's actually reasonable. Because we have 17 lands, three more bobbles, three traverses is 23, plus four street rates is 27. No, 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 it's 23. So it's 23 out of 53. 17 lands... Three, three street wraith, three traverses is twenty three. It's twenty seven. <clears throat> I think we're gonna mulligan it, but I think I think it's close. Like if, if we could cast a discard spell there, I think it would be close. Let's keep this. Um. Yeah, let's put Tarmogoyf on top. Then we'll just bobble them. This turn, we're gonna hope to hit a land here, so we can play the big boy. Punch just represent that spell snare. God, I'm so good at this game. So let's get Overgrown Tomb, Watery Grave, and let's play Homeboy. I could get Stomping Ground. Stomping ground means any land makes so I can cast K command except for this, but I think it's I don't want I want to be able to like double spell queen all the way through here. Alright, don't have a spell snare. My opponent has a spell snare, I'm gonna cry. <sighs> okay. They tapped their land so fast there that I thought it was a spell snare. <clears throat> I may traverse for a land next turn because it sets up last hope while growing Tarmogoyf. Just kidding. Oh, I should have cast my Death Shadow before combat. Oh no, it's still an instant there. Tomb Crypt Brave. I think that depends on how your deck is built at your sideboard. I'm going to run my shadow out there. How do we get stomping ground? We don't have that much green, though, so I might as well get... Play card. I'm going to run the shadow out here. If it gets bolted, then it's one more card type closer to delirium. Oh, I should have got stomping ground. That's another mistake with my lands. Because then I can go, like... Traverse, traverse if I need to next turn, but I'm probably not going to traverse. Okay, so here's threads. All right. Okay, so now I can traverse. 
for shadow. All right, I'm going to get rid of the card that attacks me. It's going to kind of suck slopping through these remands, but we'll figure it out. So the Tarmogoy is going to crack us to four, but then our shadows are huge. I'm going to hold a double remand here, Chief. Yep, you got it. Oh, that was a big draw. Whoa, they let that resolve? Okay. Okay. So now we're just going to play defense. Because we get the biggest thing on the board. Hold this for something like if they, because if we'd have gone stub there, they just replayed it and remanded it. Like, we want to hit something like. Yes, if that was a Gore Clan, it would have been very good. Yes, same. Okay, that's annoying. Now they're putting me in such a pickle. But I don't even think you're supposed to have the Gore Clan in in this match on the side. Where are you? A deck that could have path. Okay. That's what they do with their scries. Put one and one. I think this is a push thing in the ice turn. Well, yeah, but why not play around it if you can, you know? I know, I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to push. I think I want to push the thing. The question is, I don't know if I'm attacking. Because they're going to remand it. I probably stub. I think I want to push this. Wow, let that go. Okay. I think I just let this go and then try again next turn. This is gone. All right, I'm going to remand until the cows come home. Popped, okay. Then I'd probably ship in here. Now that this is resolved. Though if I ship in, I lose the snap bolt. But they can't snap bolt me. They can just flash in Snapcaster Mage. 
block both. Yeah, we're just going to try to end this game now, I think. No, I don't think you attack first. They know we have the Death Shadow from last turn. I want to make sure my Death Shadow resolves before I attack. I agree, but it is in there. Like, I want my first priority is my Death Shadow resolving. So I can have Cryptic plus Remand. Kind of get me here. You have Snapcaster Mage. You gonna bolt me? Man, that off is interesting. We still have a basic land in our deck, right? They put a card on the bottom. So we draw land, we can actually Liliana kill the Snapcaster Mage, attack and hold up Stubborn Denial. We're at four. Bolt doesn't kill me. They're drawing a land. Okay. We're dead to double Snapcaster. I think bolting anyway is just really bad, right? Yeah, no, well, you need cards, right? There's our land. Row. So they have land X. So how many instant sorceries do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this does nothing. Because even if they draw bolt, even if they plus it and get a bolt, they can only have bolt, bolt. So we let this go. We make them commit more mana. Oh, it does count exile. So they have eight. They don't have it. They still don't have enough. Forgot it counts exile. Yeah, well, but like they're not dead, right? They can find more Snapcaster Mages. Like they, they definitely shouldn't bolt me. I don't know what the out is here, but I will attack you. One card is a Scalding Tarn. What's the last one? Wasn't relevant. All right, I'm gonna grab a glass of water. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Modern confirmed. It's kind of cool. Samuel Graber. <clears throat> I mean, we got no interaction, but we have some threats. So hopefully, hopefully we street wraith into something. Blooded Strand's not a good matchup.
Okay, so he's playing the the Arclight Phoenix deck. Okay. Fetch basic swamp off of this. Thought sees them. <coughs> But you had to cycle, right? We have everything going on. I should take the looter. My phone has kind of a poor hand. I think that a good player won't do that. And I think it's I think it's like not. All right, Manamorphos is like the best hit for them probably. We might just play Death Shadow next turn. We put a card on the bottom. Oh, yeah. We have four cards. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's good, but I, I find most players don't do it unless they absolutely have to. And we're definitely not in a position where they absolutely have to. All right, we definitely don't want to see a phoenix. All right, no phoenix. So they play canal. Don't phoenix me. No phoenix, that's wild. Get rid of this. This is where I regret not having the basic swamp, basic forest, but <clears throat> oh god, we're dead. Oh, okay. We have to be dead. Like bolt me. Wow. Get two bolts. You're just hoping I crack my fetch. <clears throat> All right. All right. All right, cards that are not good. Liliana, Last Hope's not good. Battle Rage, I don't think is that good. I think it's just like you can interact with this deck easy enough. I like having a lot of removal against this deck because, like, the Tar Fires hit Swift Spears. They can hit Phoenixes that come back. The problem with the basic forests are is that like all the both basics is they are so horrendous if you draw them that they'll actually lose you the game, I think. Because when Grixis draws basics, you have Snapcaster Mage to make up for it. You don't have any way to make up you don't have any way to like make up for playing a slower game. Um This hits Crackling Drake. And Thing in the Ice. These hit Thing in the Ice, Crackling Drake, and they just hit everything. Tarfire turns our deck on. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, drawing basics is never good. And, like, I think this deck, like, is so handicapped by not being able to play a long game. Yeah, this hand's very good.
Uh, you'll keep this turn. So the, we're going to play the Pluto Delta. And I'm, I might just snap off a surgical just to do it. Yeah, I think I disagree with you, Freak Mania. I think, I think there's less. That might be worth stubbing, but I think because I have the surgical now, I don't think it is. Uh, yield until next time. So I think we're just going to go a watery grave uh, overgrown tomb. And I'm just going to push this and play Tomerloif. Because, you know, the Goy's a good threat. You know, it doesn't grow dies. What dies grows the Tomerloif. Like, I really don't. I like. Like, a, a reason why I like this deck is I like building it to be more aggressive. I could have Surgical to just play two Shadows there, but I think that's kind of loose. Like, the Surgical is just going to it's gonna take a... Um, it's going to take an Arc by Phoenix. And, like, we're so good in this matchup where I don't... I really just don't want to, you know, get cute. Okay, they hit a Fate Looting. Looting is almost good enough to so surgical in this deck, but you yeah, know, looting, okay. So I, I think I actually think Field of Ruin is at an all-time low in, in play since it was printed. If they lightning axe my goy, that's gonna kinda suck. Alright, gorge down. Your trigger. They're gone. Let's see how they sideboarded. And now their deck's just awful. Because they're all just, it's, it's nothing but air. Phoenix out, Phoenix out, Phoenix out. Don't forget the one in the graveyard. Because of magic online. <clears throat> Say four ravenous traps, Jesus. I'm gonna go with my opponent does not know what's going on here. They've got four bolts, three lightning axes. They still have gut shot. Jeez. They can, is it trying to kill a shadow next turn, which I'm kind of, kind of all right with. Well, let's just take one. Yeah, trap is trap sort of an LOL. So we've, we appear to be riding the ship after my big mistakes. Oof. Is, I couldn't have picked a better one for my opponent to hit there. A land would be sick. Opponent still has two faithless lootings in their deck. So if they block, I'm going to have a surgical lootings. Or I could just dismember. I kind of just want a surgical lootings right now to get in two more points of damage and play another shadow and have stubborn denial up. And just counter their next spell. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Hey, how's it going, Teddy? And we're literally just doing this to cut off our like all the draws that my opponent has here. And then they're just dead next turn. Yeah, we already took a picture. Um Surgling thing was probably alright. Yeah, free because we've got the stubborn denial for their first draw. Yeah, you're right, because a thing technically let's get them out of this if we miss. But I don't think anything else does, yeah. No, you're right. If they had just tapped out and faith the we'd have murked them. No, you're right, you're so smart, Freed.
<clears throat> we had stub for Ralph. They couldn't even cast Ralph. They had, what, three lands? I should have just let them leave the Faithless Loon Loons in there. Just let them tap out. Uh, see, this is why we play 12 fetch lands. So we've got one. And we have to mulligan. Like if one of these is a fetch land, we could keep this. But right as of right now, we're like so far off of Delirium that we can't keep this hand. Because if we go fetch, cycle into a discard spell, all of a sudden this is turned on. But this hand's this hand's nice. Um So it gives us one more card type to Delirium and gives us a Scry. We can't play a Shadow next turn unless we hit either a Street Wraith or a Thoughtseize. So it's 8 out of 53. Yeah, this deck's not very good. I'm going to put this on top because it's one more card type. Like The odds that we're going to play a Shadow on 2... Are pretty low, and I like making sure that our delirium's turned on. All right. Well, with the information that was just given to us, we might not do that. Yeah, we're not going to do it now because we need to draw some business. Oh, I think we're going to play untapped. Who? Fetch shock. Dismember. What's this, the nine? We're at nine with a death shadow in play. Kind of in for that. We're going to fetch red mana. And we're going to forego the green. Because if we draw Battle Rage, we want that to be a kill. This could backfire. I wouldn't do this if I didn't have the Stubborn Denial. But we're just going to try to thread the needle here. And just get him. If they play, uh, okay. Got the Phoenix deck. You got looting in the bolt. You got it. Swiss beer. That's not looting in the bolt. Sweet. So now I probably just attack. Play another one and pass. This is the harder Phoenix deck to play against for this deck, I think. I think it's probably the worst Phoenix deck, but it's much harder to play against. Hey, how's it going? The breeding pool was gas. I saw your tweet. You're saying 12 shadows for Columbus. That's awesome. I think I'm going to stub this. It's their discard outlet. And if they just pitch two Phoenixes and then just cast two spells, like they'll, I, don't, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to be a part of that life. Burn, so I'm trying to match some shadow. Yeah. All right, target creature against haste. They're going to discard, bring a Phoenix back. And then they're still not, we're still not dead. Because we just block. They then crack, they hit, if they hit this, they crack us for eight. If they have a gut shot, they kill us. So my opponent's last card is gut shot, we're dead.
But if it's not, and they don't know how Death Shadow works, then they're dead. All right, well, they're going to learn today. Unless they got a gut shot. They're going to have gut shot. They're going to be sad panda. Yeah, that's a big negative. I think we're locked for eight at least. Nice. So same, same. We're going the same way we did last time. I'm gonna bring in a couple shatters because they move into like a a bit more of a. Um, we taught them yes. You gotta play eight four four sets of Grixis or two sets of Grixis at least. I don't think we want either of these against this version. Though this this kills Bedlam Reveler. They might board out their Bedlam Revelers. Let's just see what we want here because we might want some number of shatters because of Shrine of Burning Rage. So let's just say we shave here, shave here, sort by converted mana cost. We could cut some number of, we actually can just cut these dismembers for trophies. And then we can just trophy the shrines. Maybe Hazret. I think I'll wait for a hazard until I see it. But like I could even dismember, but I don't see what we want. Like maybe we cut a push. I think Tarfire is like actually pretty good against the Phoenix decks. And like Tarfire is just kind of like a necessary let's just keep delirium going kind of thing. So whatever, we'll submit it. All right, with no land heater. Blech. We have delirium, so I'm going to keep this, but it is certainly not good. We're going to keep, like, probably traverse or a threat on top. Wow, what a – this deck is just great. Just so good. Now, we can take this slow if we want, which I'm kind of in for. I'm kind of, like, cool for just getting a Tarmogoyf, going slow. They're going to be pretty big here. Dude, I love me some tar fire. Goblin just getting frisky, dude. This guy is just getting out of line. All right, um, uh, let's cycle this. God, we don't even have to traverse for our tarm wives. So this either gets me watery grave, or um, probably gets me stomping grounds. Well. Tormenting voice. So they have a phoenix in the yard already. So let's yield until next end step. I probably want to get a blue land with this. So the watery grave. Yeah, let's just go get watery grave. And then we're going to shock ourselves into overgrown tomb. Oh, shoot. I just was so used to doing that. Well, now we have death shadow. Yeah, I still think it's just Tarma Life. It's going to be interesting to see if we lose by two. Uh, that was just like, um, you know, Moto not thinking. Click there. I should have fetched and got Stomping Grounds. Stomping Ground. I don't even think I'm playing very well. No, I'm just not playing very well today. Gut shot me. Bolt me. All right. Okay. So we're gonna get cracked here. Stub would be nuts. 
All right, so now we just go to four. Tar fire this. Play this. Crack. I think these Phoenix decks are so bad. Like, I think this one's a bad burn deck. I think the blue red one is okay. But then the hollow one deck, I think it's just the worst hollow one deck. Well, we're going to stub that. And now they're dead. Like, I messed up all the way through this, and they still wasn't, like, all that close at all. Yeah, that's a cost, which is just, <laughs> which is just great. Right, I'm going to grab some more water. I'll be right back. Like they have they have play patterns that are pretty easy to adapt to. Yes. You're right there. Um they have like specific play patterns, which like I learned like one of my friends helped me with a lot. It's like they try to go off like I don't whenever I play Grixis, I never discard spell them on turn one. I usually always can trip or hold up Stubborn Denial, or, like, just not do anything, because they're setting up for, like, a very critical mass, like, turn two, or, like, play thing, turn three, draw. And I think that's when you want to get them. We're right back. I want to say hi to my wife. One of my friends just posted they love when they play Ironworks and somebody doesn't concede to the loop and they kill them with 10 seconds on their clock. I'll follow the league. Wizards. Same deck is still being there. How do you think it's really good? No racist. Yeah. That deck's, Brandon's deck is good. I'm assuming that's close to what you were playing. Okay, so we've got one, two... Okay, so if we see a creature or a way to throw a spell, we've got Delirium, so we're going to keep this. What is this? Minus one bottle, plus one scour. Yeah, I mean, that list is very good. Like, like it, I, I'm not even going to lie. If I was going to a Magic Tournament, I would take Race of Shadow. Like, tomorrow or this weekend. Like, the deck is so much more flushed out. has got so much more work to it. Simic Growth Chamber... You don't say. So our traverse is going to be turned on. The problem is we might not be able to use it on turn two. Like that list is the list is very good. The and the deck is very good. It just sucks playing cards that are technically wrong to play because of Moto. Okay. So let's just take this explosives because I can just EE for one. And then we'll be able to dismember this tribe scout. Hopefully we hit a land. Though I forgot we can just play Tarmogoy. So maybe it wasn't right to do that. Uh, especially considering they have Bajoku Bog. Which makes things a little scary. So we did hit a land. So we're going to be able to get underneath... 
this bog as well. So I think I want to go get Watery Grave. What I do like about this deck is that I think I think that I think it hits the meta game from a bit of a different spot than Grixis, but it still might not be right to play. That's what I'm trying to figure out because like if we can give this deck the same TLC that we've given Grixis Death Shadow, then like maybe it's still maybe it is very good. <clears throat> like tweaking the mana base, creating good sideboard plans. So I feel like my opponent's incentivized to play a bounce land. Yeah. Okay, so then I'll, we get to do this again. Um, if I traverse for another shadow, sucks more under the rest of the beast and graveyard hate. I think it. I don't think it sucks more, right? Like. Because Rest in Peace and Graveyard Hate, you know, does a lot to the Grixis deck as well. The cool thing about this deck is it can actually remove it. <sighs> if we thought sees they're packed, then they don't get to Summoner's Pack for Azusa and kind of go nuts. Which is probably like just the adult thing to do. And then we just crack them for nine next turn pass with a removal spell and stubborn denial up and then we traverse okay, so we're not gonna get to traverse but I think we always care if they get Azusa that's a nice draw and the nice thing about this deck is that there's so much a modern is like I don't want to interact with you I don't want to interact with you that this deck kills people fast very fast <clears throat> it doesn't pivot though, which is its problem. So I think I want surgicals. I want stub. I don't want these last hopes. These last hopes have not been very good in this league. I put them in here as a hedge because of how much this deck struggles against fair decks. We did see it was very good when we played against black green earlier. So. I'm going to cut one Traverse because they can Bajoku bog us. I think Blood Moon's awful at the moment. Um... I'm gonna cut one more card. I could just cut a Tarmogoyf. Three is fine. I don't know, they board into more explosives though, right? I mean, I'm not super with the amulet deck. I probably need Assassin's Trophies because it can hit Bounce Lands as well. I'm gonna want the fourth stub on the play when I can get under an amulet. Now I have 62 cards. On the draw, I want more removal because I want to be able to kill Tribe Scout. Battle Rage is like kind of important for Hornet Queen. Yeah, I have too many cards, which is my problem. Like I kind of want this card. I kind of want these cards here. I just have too many. Um... Um, I'm gonna shave one of these because, like, this is a little slow. And I could cut a land because we're not gonna be. We cut a two drop. I'm gonna cut a land. We're on the draw. All right, we're gonna go like this. I 
I don't like cutting bobble because it's free. I don't know. I like bobble. Yes, Gore Clan Rampager is not that good. No, we don't, Teddy. Like, we need to hit their. What do you mean we need to hit their entire hand? I'm confused. Heater. Sort of. Not that good. This is probably like Breeding Pool. Alright, they got that. So now we need a discard spell because we have to take the Titans out of that. That was the wrong land. I can go get Blood Crypt Breeding Pool though. So we're not, it's not the end of the world. Hopefully we get to point this. Oh god. Um I have to stub this. Because like this is gonna let them go nuts. Because this lets them go like Azusa. And then but Azusa's not that good. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Um, we we got to play our Tarmogoyf. Loop. Like, we could just get browned here by an Azusa, but I don't think we can just wait. This is where we just kind of hope. And the innovations that this deck has made is good. Like the fact that they've helped make their deck faster with the trinket mages, I think is really good. Yes. Yeah. If I like if I needed to like that's what I would have done and if I needed a tar fire last turn I would have gotten a blood crypt and then got a breeding pool. Which so the mana worked a lot, worked out, but it wasn't perfect. What do we got? Is it just an E? Okay. Into a bounce land. No, you'll do this turn. Nice. Okay. Now we got a couple of options here. We actually can like just surgical the amulets to see what our opponent's doing. And it lets us play Death Shadow and then still have like Dismember up for an Azusa. Which I kinda like. As odd as that is. It, but if they don't have an Azusa, I'm gonna feel kind of stupid. But I don't want to like tar fire myself, play Death Shadow, have them play Azusa, and then go nuts. So I want to kill Azusa in response to the first thing. What is this deck struggle against? This deck struggles against 
Fair decks and Ether Vial decks. I want to be able to get my Shadow in play and kill Azusa. So I think I'm just going to Surgical this. Okay, so they have Azusa. So we sniff that out. We sniffed that out last turn. God, my brain is big. Let's take a look. Okay, so what do they got for business? They got four Titans. They have four Azusas. One Ballista. Two Trinket Nades. They have got... A Teleria West in their hand, but they can't transmute it. They have a Teleria West in play, but can't transmute it either. Hornet Queen. They have three more explosives. Okay. Yes, you're right, Freed. I should have done that. 100%, you were right. You were super right there, sir. Yeah, dude. This deck plays Hornet Queen. So we're going to tar fire ourselves if they don't play this Azusa. Excuse me. My opponent's deck also seems like impossible to play. Okay, so there's the Boros Garrison. Okay. I would like to hit a land drop next turn so that I can go dismember, tar fire myself, traverse death shadow. Because I'm definitely just going to dismember this because I want to grow my shadow. That's the number one thing I want. Delirium is second. Yeah, I mean, this deck is super cool. Like, I've played this deck a couple times and I always have a lot of fun playing it. But it's got, it's got to just be incredibly difficult to play. Like, they should play. They should play for they should play forest first. So right now their hand is Gruel Turf, Forest, Teleria West, their draw step. We got our little thing the jigger going on over here. I don't think they have a hive mind, right? We didn't see a hive mind, so they don't. So they're going to be able to cast the Titan next turn. So they've got, they played Gruel Turf, so they have, and they just picked up Forest. They have Forest, Teleria, West, X. This is unfortunate. <clears throat> I'm going to attack... I'm actually just going to tar fire myself because that makes it seven. That makes it a three turn clock. We can traverse. Just going to turn delirium on. They're not going to be able to walk and bust us out of the game. That's how they used to play it. It used to be a turn. You could win. A, you could win on turn one with this deck back in the day, the way it was built. Okay, we can actually just traverse for uh, fetch land and kill our opponent. <coughs> also. Okay, there's Grove. That doesn't matter. 
to draw a Titan. Uh, so they drew Garrison. I'm pretty sure that still kills us. Like, unless they drew Vesuva. They would have played Vesuva. Because we know their hand. Their hand's Forest. Um, their hand is Forest. Uh, yeah, so now they give it... Ooh. They didn't get the one that gave it Haste. That's wild. They just got the wrong one. Yeah, they can just give the thing double strike, but it's not going to do anything. How's it going, Brandon? Yeah, they just didn't fetch the right land here. We just must have misclicked. Because if they got that, we were just dead. And now we just traverse. So we return Grove. So now we traverse for a fetch land. Let's see what they're drawing. No, Ancient Stirrings is an out. But now we just traverse for a fetch land. Make sure we can fetch accordingly. We need another green source, so we go Verdant Catacombs into probably Overgrown Tomb. How much can they? One, two. So they're going to be able to Ancient Stirrings, which is one. They find Walking Ballista. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we should actually just traverse for another fetch land and hold it. But I guess the, their land drop is eight, so we can't beat Walking Ballista anyways if they hit it off their Ancient Stirrings. Yeah, so let's just go get Overgrown Tomb. And then we're going to traverse for a fetch land and hold it. And then just attack. No shit, I played my land. God damn it. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I need to traverse. I need to get a street ready. All right, we're going to attack. Let's see if they block. I need to get Street Wraith. I was so dumb. Just block. Oh, I forgot I couldn't make two land drops in one turn. I was so worried about, like, what was going on, on top of their deck and, then, like, what I was doing that I just missed it. So let's say I get a Street Wraith. We Street Wraith into Polluted Delta. <coughs> Man. All right, so we can sideboard a little differently on the play because we don't need as much removal because we can get under them a little bit. Ugh. I have not played very well tonight. Okay. So I think on the play, we want this guy back. And I want another stub. So I might not even board in the Tarmogoyf. The Goyf might just be a little slow. I've got the stubs, because now we can stub an amulet. So I like I like having less removal. Like I always like more removal on the draw and more and more counter spells in the play against this deck. Because we just have whatever. We have 12 ways to get under an amulet now. I really don't know if I need all three extractions. With four stubborn denials, we're not going to need probably more than one threat, though. Especially when we're on the play. So we're down to... 
I think on the play, probably a Goyf is better than a Traverse. Because if they start getting like the whatever it is lock, at least we can play Tarmogoyf. We're at 58 cards. Oh my god. I'm all over the place tonight. I'm going to get this, and then I'm going to get one of these. And we're going to call it. It, is, it has just not been a good night for the homeboy. Playing Magic. All right. We've got a heater. So let's cycle first. I think I know what we want to do with our lands. But I'm not 100% sure. Like, this is probably getting me Water Grave. This is either going to give me Stomping Ground or Overgrown Tomb. But I don't want to really make that decision. Okay, so now it doesn't matter. So we're going to get Water Grave with this one. All right, so we just take Azusa, take Drinking Mage, and look to Stub Pact, I think. Because they can play Pact on their third turn. And we're going to have... Um, I guess Tarmogoyf doesn't quite get big enough. But we have to get the Tarmogoyf. Like, we want the Stub to trade with a Pact. So let's just take this Azusa. We also can always just soft stub the pact if we need to, because it kind of time locks them. That was a good one. That was a good hit. So what am I doing? They can play a bounce land, and then they can pact... For an Azusa. Then they play Teleria West, Gemstone Mine, Cavern Souls, and can pay for it. I think I'm just gonna play Goyf. Yeah, that was a that was a tough one for us there. No, they need a bounce line in order to do that. So yeah, we're just gonna play Tom Goyf. And Bloodstained Mire is the second worst land in our deck. So let's go get over. It's actually the worst land. So I'm going to cycle the Street Wraith also. I should have done it beforehand because it could have informed my fetch. That's not bad. So now we can do some surgicaling in response to a Summer's Pact if they get cute here with a Bounce Land. Tribe Scout. There's Gemstone Mine. Which is not in the range. They're looking that that thing's turned into a primeval titan form. I guess they can kind of march their way up with the ramp that they have. But at least the shadow. Bricks it off a little bit now. Because we're just going to go discard spell, take trinket mage. Leave them with pact. And then we got this ferocious boy. I could have taken the pact and surgical the pact, but I, I kind of just didn't want them to be able to put a blocker in play. Stirrings. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to hit that because it could fix their mana to let them let them transmute. What play is very bad, Brandon? Packing for Azusa is just bad in general. I do like how this deck keeps getting innovated on. Like, I think this deck is improving. It's just much quicker now.
Okay, so you go to Boros Garrison. So we know their hand. It's not very good. Oh, they gave me a life too, so now I don't have a ferocious boy anymore. Okay. Oh, so it's not bad in general, right? I always am very worried about it. Because, like, I feel like if I'm not putting pressure on them and they pack for an Azusa and they just spend a whole turn setting up, that they can just, like, afford to take a turn off from the pact. You know, you know draw would be sweet? Like, dismember. Cavern. Because we currently don't have much of a claw. Creature type is huge. Alright, well. I might have to surgical something in response to um, a Summoner's Pact. Because they can tighten me this turn. We saw how they sideboarded last game. So this comes into play. They played the Teleri list. So they have Summoner's Pack, Boros Garrison. <coughs> they don't have a backup pack for Titan, okay. One, two. Giant encounterable. So we be packed in. What card's better than surgical? It might just be the Azusa because it blocks. Yeah, I'm just going to take their Azusas when they go to do this. Let's say just natural rip the Titan, which is going to make me throw up. Okay. We're going to take this because it's a blocker. Take this. Take this. Okay, so they can't transmute that currently. So let's see how they sideboard again. It's probably the it's probably the same way. I doubt this is really a play draw matchup. New uh yeah. I also think it's dumb that you don't have to pay for these packs if you uh, if you cast them. You know, like I, I think I think these packs should be a cast thing. That's my opinion. Because like you can just willy nilly these things out here. You can run them into like remands and like that was back in the day. That was more of an issue. Okay, so the last card is Teleria West. Crack them for eight. They go down to three. If I crack them for ten, what does that do? Paying them for ten doesn't really do anything. I'm dead to tighten off the top pretty much regardless. So I might as well hit them. Like, what do they got? They have a. They got Boro. They have Teleria West. Whoa. So this is two. This is. Two, three, four, five. Teleri West is six. So at least Hornet Queen doesn't kill me, but Titan just kills me. Because they go get Vesuva and the other one. So I guess there's no need to thought seize them. <clears throat> I 
I would like them to draw a spell that would be stubborn now. You know what draw would be sick? Tarfire. Alright, so we're going to go with our opponent, Mist. <clears throat> but we might have drawn some action. Traverse. What does Traverse do? Traverse gives me a blocker for Primeval Titan. Which sounds pretty great. Or I can look for, because of how my deck is set up, I've got three tar fires and two uh, two dismembers, one trophy, but I can't cast trophy in that. So I think the play is to go for a street wraith. Unless the Death Shadow actually helps me beat Titan off the top. But I think we just win if we hit this here. All right. Well, we kind of did both things. All right. They double jump. We play Shadow. We stubborn it out. We just pray to God our opponent doesn't rip a uh, Hornet Queen. I think this is probably a generally a pretty good matchup for us. Hmm, that's kind of funny. They couldn't bog us because it took a blocker away. <coughs> yeah, you get your land in play. You probably should keep that in your hand, right? Yeah, it should stay in their hand, I think. But I don't know if it really matters. What deck is better versus all the greater? Oh, the Grixis or four color? The Grixis deck is better right now. Like, like the the Jun deck is not nearly as flushed out as the Grixis deck is. There's more people that have done work on it. It's a better deck right now. Great man, do you cut TBR against decks with Groves? Um, it's kind of a broad question to ask. Okay, so that's what they hit. So now we just stub the pact. They can't ballista. One, two, 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 three, four, five, six. What pact are you getting? Yeah, I don't know. I like there, there's a couple school of thoughts of whether you're supposed to keep in Battle Rage against Ironworks. And I've recently liked cutting Battle Rage against Ironworks, but I also like to cut a Death Shadow against Ironworks. It's not how that works. There, friendo. All right, let's play for the 5 0 here. Seems like we've rebounded from our brain dead league when we first got in today. Yeah, I don't. I think that when Field of Ruin was at its height, yes, you're right. YXCB, for sure. That card's not seeing nearly as much play as it used to be. <clears throat> yeah, I cut the rages. I cut the rages and. Um, And I bring in more removal. Like, I, I used to keep the rages in, but I think I like the removal better now. But I could see people keeping battle rage and not having as much removal in. All right, we will keep this hand. It's a little sketchy, but if it does its thing, it's pretty explosive. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't not cut it, especially because of Hornet Queen. All 
All right, come on. Guess. So. I'm just going to play this and not crack it. Because I wouldn't mind a third land drop because of the last health anyways. Alright, so playing against a control deck. So, again, we're going to crack this. Okay, nice. So I think the play is actually Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> and then double spell the turn afterwards when my shadows can't get bolted. So we're going to get Overgrown Tomb and Stomping Ground. So we have Double Green. The next turn, I can play Double Shadow. But I can't have Water Grave up. So maybe it was right to get Blood Crypt there. I probably should get Blood Crypt. Yeah, Liliana the Veil is very bad. I should. I think I fetch, I think I already messed up my fetch. I think I should have gotten a Blood Crypt because if I draw Stubborn Denial, I'm gonna feel a little silly. Yeah, I used to play versions of this deck. So I, I played this deck for a very long time. I played this deck like... I played it for too long. But I played it when Grixis Death Shadow was good. I'm going to hold this. And I even found that I was winning the Grixis matchup because I played the five-color version. And I played like... Three Liliana the Veils in my sideboard and Lingering Souls. But, like, now neither of those cards are any good. It might have been worth getting my Liliana into play there while they didn't have Counter Magic up. But it appears we're going to get Snap Pushed. They are pushing me around. Wow. All right. Well, at least this last hope's going to get in there. Yeah, sweetie? Yeah, give me one second. I'll be right back. So I kind of want to. I kind of want to thought seize and traverse for another death shadow. I'm playing Grix version once. I got the shot in the side one three souls. Yeah, you probably beat the mirror. Thoughts. I, I'm tempted to just go thought seize traverse death shadow. Because if I play my last hope, I'm going to bring back a Death Shadow, but then I'm subject to this. And then my next turn is going to be, yeah, I can just guarantee take a Snapcaster here. Which I think guarantee taking a Snapcaster is what I want to be doing here. Whoa. They are out of gas. This field's going to mess us up, though. That was my favorite part about playing the old version. Like, I think, I think that I, I really think that before Humans was popular, I had a build of the four-color deck that I just loved. I thought was just the absolute stones. Couldn't beat the blue-white deck, because the old blue-white deck played Spreading Seas and Supreme Verdict. I think I'm just going to Traverse for another Death Shadow next turn as well. Instead of playing the Hope. 
like just max pressure. Yes, yeah. That's the change from you look at when this deck first came to prominence in the beginning of 2017. Liliana of the Veil was good and Lingering Souls was good. Now that's just not the case. And now I think you're ahead of the blue white decks. Because they just they, they play all that soft crap. No, yeah, I never read that deck either. But then humans came, and then this deck couldn't pivot. Yeah. You are a bold, bold man. And now we're definitely just... Traversing for another Death Shadow and cracking in. That's really aggressive. That means that means they probably drew a land. If I had to guess, they just drew some drew a land and are pretty desperate. And like right here, you're watching the advantage of this deck. When, like, when this deck hums, I went through four Death Shadows and a Tarmogoyf in the first five turns of the game. And, like, that's what it does. It's not very good here. Like, you'd much rather have, like, four Snapcaster Mages here. But, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Combat. Now I'm just going to play, I'm going to go to the combat and then play a Tarmogoyf after combat. Because if I go Liliana last up before combat to get a street rate, they just go like counter tap your team. And then their land, they go tar pit plus Mutal Ball to kill me. So... We win this game, this match. I think it'll be 26 and 6 with the deck over 6 and then a brain, 6 leagues and a brain fart. I think. Whatever it's been, it's been good. I'm just like. You could cast your Cryptic Command, dude. Wild. No, I have not. I don't think Argonite Phoenix is a very good card. So they have a Cryptic Command. Or they have a Fail Flush. There's no sense in me catching my discard spell. So we're going to go right to combat. And then I'm going to play a Tarmor Wave. Tap it. Tap me. Give me the old tap, tap, tap a rune. And we're not going to thought seize our opponent. Because the way that we... We could lose to Creeping Tar Pit. Like, Tar Pit beats... You know, it's my opponent's out. They should have they should have done it in my upkeep <clears throat> if they had a cryptic command. Snapcaster Mage gets them out of this. Um just snap cryptic gets them out of this. Spell starter sprite gets them out of this. Or they have to chump away a land. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care. I don't, if they are, they are. <coughs> they have just taken this one turn pretty slow. If 
There is a Vigor Probs and a Victor the Gothi in the chat, and I don't. I could line up with Vigothi. Might actually Vigothi and Victor Gothi, huh? I since I certainly hope that that's not the case. But if it is then I am very sad and shame on that person. <clears throat> All right, so now we block Mutavault. Though I'm also not super, like, Yeah, there's a V got I'm playing against V Gothy and Victor the Gothy is in my Twitch chat. Which is nice. But what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? <coughs> so they can double chump both of my attackers. Yeah, that's a little odd. Heal through this turn. Keep cryptic. You know, if we had a forest, we would be good. Heal through this turn. No, we don't have a forest. Yeah, everything's good for takeoff. I mean, it's also likely that my opponent's plays probably don't change very much, regardless of what's going on. But that is sad, to say the least. All right, uh, so we're playing against like a fairies deck. I don't even know what fairies like is. Even control. This did well at the one of the last GPs. I just don't know a lot about what what's got going on. I don't think Fatal Push is good. I don't think Battle Rage is good. <coughs> I don't think this deck plays Miss Buying Click, so I don't think this member is very good. This is kind of what I want. I could board in like trophies. Trophy deals with Bitter Blossom. So maybe we want Battle Rage because of Bitter Blossom. I want like just enough removal to be able to deal with Creeping Tar Pits and Manlands. I like it. Three deuce. I like it quite a bit. But we're going to submit here. Yeah, this is Utah's deck.
Ugh. I don't think I can mulligan hands like this. But it's not great. Yeah, I want to keep it. So we're going to bottle ourselves. All right, we've got Mistress Bobble. So let's get rid of that. We're gonna just we're gonna fetch a Watery Grave, <clears throat> and then we're gonna hold the next Bobble until our opponent's upkeep. Go through here. All right, so we drew a shadow. And we'll pass through here. A discard spell would be very good. That is what we're looking for. <clears throat> we're down to six green fetches, like two wooded foothills. <clears throat> well, now at least our man is going to be set up, but we're going to turn slow on our shadow, which is a little frustrating. We drew with the fourth land, which is also not good. Uh, yield until next time step. So this is going to get us a red land, blood crypt. And I'm just going to get a breeding pool. And I'm actually going to wait. Could just jam, but I can wait next turn until my shadow is large enough to make it through um, to get over a or to turn on Ferocious. Lands pass, land go. Troll is trying to split a foothills and Misty, but once you foothills, you move back and forth to invoke the tar fire. So we are drawing a very unfortunate amount of lands. So what do we got? We've got an overgrown tomb. We can go get a stomping ground, which makes shadow bigger. <clears throat> We're gonna get browned by a spell study sprite here. And let's hope we don't get spreaded. Yeah. That's not good. That's frustrating. <clears throat>
<clears throat> All right, you got another one? You probably do. Oh man, that's frustrating. Okay. All right, I think that's gonna do it. Now I'm just gonna scoop it up. I mean, this guy's in my chat. I don't really want to deal with it. But let's go back to the deck. Check this out. So, <clears throat> cards that impressed me. The Snapcaster Mage out of the board I liked. Um, besides that, I didn't really get to try anything new. Um, I didn't. I drew the Wooded Foothills one time, but um, didn't really matter. Um, I didn't play super well this league. This is YouTube, yeah. But we're gonna send you guys over to someone else tonight. Um, so I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will be back after Christmas, maybe on the 30th. But see everybody later.